how to generate your own inspiration for life becomes that aha moment, that pop in and out of nowhere, or that instant desire to try something new, or to spontaneously know the answer to that burning question inside of you. So it's a neat trick to know how to generate your own inspiration for life that can be used at any time, anywhere, and on any day. Hello, it's Scott Jansen from the Conversational Hypnosis Academy, and we now take our time for a very important step in our individual progression as a hypnotist to learn how to generate your own inspiration for life. Now, while reading books, attending seminars, and listening to motivational speakers have their place, but there is a tendency to be told what to do based on what this speaker says is best for you. And while this can be enough to give you that inspiration, a lot of the time we are left pumped up for a few days, then the feeling inside of us dwindles away. Now the book goes back on the shelf, and then reality kicks in, and we're back to square one. So instead of getting all philosophical and spreading off powerful metaphors that sizzle out before the action could be taken, here is almost the behind the scenes, if it were, of how you can train yourself to inspire your own life. Now, an aha moment, inspiration, or spontaneous idea are all an expression of the unconscious mind. And I'll repeat that. An aha moment, inspiration, or a spontaneous idea are all expressions of the unconscious mind. And the reason we don't have them continually is because we block them. And by you, I mean the conscious thinking that you have. As we ponder and dwell on an idea, we activate deep unconscious mechanisms for change. Meaning that when you get overwhelmed consciously with what to do in your life, how you can maybe achieve a goal, or how to move through a problem with ease, your unconscious mind goes on the hunt for answers. It's the same mechanisms as a hypnotist of why we have our clients do the same while they're in trance. Now this search through for unconscious resource has an infinite time, meaning that you won't know what has been solved or how long it will take until you get what you need and you start thinking and acting in this new way. But in saying all of this, you can train yourself for it to be more of a smoother activity. Now there are ways, even outside of personal and self-hypnosis, that you can use triggers to find the inner genius inside of you stop the conscious mind negating the answers and get what you want with ease. So here are just some ideas. Do something monotonous. You have probably had the experience before. You can be watching a film or TV, then an idea rushes into your mind and bam, you have the answer you were searching for. Ever heard of a song or a name you need to remember and it's almost on the tip of your tongue but you couldn't get it out? You get frustrated the more you think about it. Then you leave it alone and out of nowhere the name flashes inside your mind. This is the same approach you can take that for that instant inspiration. If you are stuck trying to work on something, or find the answer to something in life that you need, keep the idea in your mind, then stop thinking about it. Keep yourself busy and wait for it to come. Now, this may take some time. The more you trust in this, the quicker the action comes, and you start to expect it from yourself. Number two task yourself something. With technology, Facebook texting, and the rest of the internet, we are never away from distractions. So tasking yourself away from all of this is another way to approach your inspiration. There was a famous writer back in the 1900s who never ever had writer's block. He would task himself to sit in front of his typewriter, and if he felt like writing, he would. And if he didn't, he didn't. The goal here was not to sit there and be distracted, but just patiently wait for inspiration to come. And for any writer reading this, or even listening to this, you know how common writer's block can be. Number three, and lastly, keep it ambiguous. When you are requiring the answer for something, don't ask or think about it in a way that narrows down your options. For example, if you're using the method to really dwell on something and you needed the answer to a problem you have in your life, don't think about it as what is the best way to overcome this issue or problem, or get through it. Keep it open, open it up for opportunities that you can allow your unconscious mind to be as creative as it wants to find the best choice for you. The reason you are stuck in this issue, because you are looking for the best or the right way to overcome it consciously. Now use your creative mind to do this for you. Now who says? 
the best way is the right way. Allow your unconscious mind to do what it has been doing your entire life, which is keep you safe, keep you healthy, and do it in creative ways. This is the power of the unconscious. This is how you can inspire those ideas to come at you full force by allowing your unconscious mind to find them for you, connect the new connections, and inspire your life for change. So that's all for now. It's Scott Jansen from the Conversational Hypnosis Academy. We look forward to seeing you on the next one. Goodbye for now.